Guys, I'm Messi Smith, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cool background like this. Uh, go over to your Steam profile, it's not too hard to get here. Um, literally, you should start here, and then you should just go to where your name is down to profile. Then you're going to go into badges like this. You have to have unturned as well downloaded. You don't need the badges. You can literally just click where it says unturned. Um, you can use any of these for the background. As you see, my background is like this one, uh, but I've got this one. So I'm for this video, I'm going to use this. You're going to click on the picture. It should come up with this. Click it again so it comes up to this. Then you're going to left click or right click, sorry, and uh, copy. Go to uh, paint click paste so it should come up like that uh, you can click crop if you want it to be in a good size um, then once you've done that you can exit like save it make sure you save it I don't really know what you save it as I've already saved mine here so I'm not gonna save this one but that's basically what you gotta do save it like that so I'm gonna don't save mine because I've already got this and then you're gonna wanna go over to a website called uh, flamingtext.com a link will be in the description uh, so basically you're gonna come over to this website I've used this one uh, to use mine but for this video I'm gonna be using this one and uh, I'm gonna call mine uh, well I'm gonna say Messi Smith because that's what you know my name is so I'm just gonna write Messi Smith in there and then uh, you can shoot you can mess around with these I'm gonna keep I'm gonna move mine so it's white as you know I'm gonna make mine so it is blue then that should change into blue like that don't if you don't want this line you could probably sort it out I'm not quite sure how then this uh, is gonna be cool you can change that to just regular white if you want I mean I don't know you can change it to whatever you want shadow uh, I personally would give it a, like a black shadow so it stands out a bit more. I don't actually like the white so I'm going to turn that black to black. This is all up to you guys. You can take as long as you want doing this. Uh, then you're going to go to background and make sure it says transparent. You're going to tick the little box there. Um, then you're going to go to next. It might take a while guys because it, it's just got to obviously save it. Um, so when it takes a while, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, then you're gonna want to go to download. Then you're just gonna this should pop up. Thanks for downloading. Just click save, then open. So you've got this here, right? So um, you're gonna uh, basically you're gonna try and find that. If you can't find it, it should pop it be in your downloads folder. It should be somewhere in here. You can see mine's here. You're gonna just drag. You're just going to drag the picture you want into your pictures folder and it should be there as well waiting for you. And then once you've done that, you can close this. Now you're going to want to come to a website called Pixlr. A link will be in the description, but, but it won't basically pop up like this. I'll show you how it will pop up. Uh, right, it should pop up when you type it in Google. So it is... Pixlr editor, it should it should just pop up once you write Pixlr in. Then editor, you you just click that, and it should be this one here. You just click that, and it will bring you um like I don't know. Mine brings me here, but yours should bring you somewhere else. Basically, you just should say create account. That don't worry about that. Just go to uh, create a picture or something. Then this is the bit what doesn't really matter. This should pop up. And usually, if you was making a thumbnail, you want it. 1280 by 720 and transparent but for this it doesn't really matter so you just click OK and then you can close it down there okay or not uh, so we've got that and then we're gonna go to uh, file open the image and then you're gonna click the w image you've downloaded this this was the download one and this bit is getting really confusing so you wanna watch carefully you're gonna go to this right click it duplicate layer and then you're just gonna uh, drag this down a little bit and then you're just going to drag your copy onto the white bit or actually no actually no don't do that 
just close that white bit and just keep this as your background here. Um, then we're going to go to File, Open New Image, get our writing here. Going to go duplicate that, then drag this writing on there. Uh, then you're going to want to bring it to wherever you want, but first of all, go to Edit, a uh, free trans like form or whatever. Uh, you're going to make it so a good, roughly a good size for you. This bit doesn't really matter to anyone. Um, then once you've done that, you can just click it, click save and all that. And if you're worried about flamingtext.com, you don't have to have that on there. You just click the rubber and go over to it and just rub that out. Um, it shouldn't really bother you too much, but it just looks more better if you get rid of that. Because I, I don't know, then you, once you're done, you're just going to go to um, file, then save. Save it as, I just save it as YouTube uh, 1. Uh, just click OK, save into there. Click on K. Uh, it should say image saved. That's good. You don't need this anymore. Leave that. Uh, then you're going to want to go to your um, pictures. And mine should be there. I'm going to get rid of these. But then it should be here. This should be your background. Uh, but then you're going to want to basically do right click. Then set as desktop background. It should set. Give it a while. And there you go. That's a cool background there for you guys. Obviously, it doesn't have to be but blurry. You can obviously make it the size you want. I don't really know why mine turned out blurry, but anyway, that is how you make a cool background in Unturned. Uh, if you want to see any more cool videos like this, just let me know. Um, and yeah. <laughs>